Hey everybody, um, good to see you. Hey, it seems like we have some good news. The COVID numbers are going down, and so um, there is appears to be some light at the end of the tunnel that one of these days we're going to be getting back to normal. But um, in the meantime, um, we are going to establish a schedule for our Sunday evening, our Sunday evening gatherings. And so um, we're going to meet the next gathering will be on October 4th. Um, at 5 o'clock, we're going to move back out to the parking lot so we can have a little more space for distancing. Um, but we'll be on the parking lot October 4th, 5 in the evening. And then from there until Thanksgiving, our plan is to meet every other Sunday evening. Um, so um, you can put it on your calendar, mark it up, um, um, bring your lawn chairs, and we'll have a great time of, um, of worship and being together um, in the parking lot. The next one is October 4th. Um, I also wanted to, um, to remind you that if you go to the, the front page of the, of the website, our homepage, um, on there there's a button that you can click to sign up to um, help set up or tear down our Sunday evening gatherings. Um, it's quite a bit of work to put it all together. Um, and so if you're willing to help, you can fill out that form, then we'll get a hold of you and we can you know find out what days you're available. And um, it would just be really, um, really great for the worship team and others to have a little assistance in putting things up and, and taking things down. Okay, I appreciate that very much. Hey, today I wanted to, um, to take a look um, at um, a few verses out of the book of Colossians. You know, on Sundays we've been talking through um, the book of Ephesians. And there's so much wonderful truth in there. This idea that we've been blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places that we've been adopted um, into the family of God, that we're seated at the right hand of God in the heavenly places, that we've been blessed with every, every single spiritual blessing you can possibly imagine. And the book of Colossians echoes some of those themes. And so I, I want to pick it up in chapter 3, verse 1. Listen to this. It says, Since you have been raised up with Christ, keep seeking the things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on the things above, not on the things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. You know, the Apostle Paul is telling us that, that we should focus on the future, the things above. All those things that are, are laid out for us in the, in the letter to the Ephesians, all those spiritual blessings... Um, the guarantee that we have a future, the fact that our sins are forgiven, the fact that we're co-heirs with Christ, the fact that we are connected to him forever and that that relationship can never be severed. Those are the things that he wants us to focus our mind on. And, and why is that? Um, I, I think it's really pretty obvious. If we focus on those truths, those truths will transform our lives. They will change us now. Um, it's not like we're just you know in a coma waiting for the future. But it'll begin to change our heart now. We'll see the world differently. We'll see people differently. We'll see um, our family differently, um, our community differently, um, our own struggles and, um, and, and, and problems differently because we'll see them all in the light of what Jesus has done for us. He goes on um, a few verses later, and I just want to read this to you. I'm not going to talk about it much, but I just want you to listen Okay, to what he says. He says, So then, as those who have been chosen by God, holy and beloved, put on a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving each other, whoever has a complaint against anyone, just as the Lord forgave you, so also should you. Beyond all these things, put on love which is the perfect bond of unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ richly dwell within you, with all wisdom teaching and admonishing one another with psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with thankfulness in your hearts to God. Whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through him, to God the Father. When we put our minds, set our minds on the things above, when we 
pursue a relationship with Christ. When we desire to come to understand, embrace, and, um, and, and actually, uh, not, not just even embrace, but, but actually put into practice the truths that we learn in the scriptures. When we rest in the, the reality of what Jesus has done for us, then we're able to live the life that he just pointed out. And that life is a life of blessing, a blessing for us and a blessing to everyone else we come in contact with. Uh, may your life be a blessing. And may God make it so. God bless you all. Have a great week. Thank you.